Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon the Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, and his immaculate progeny, dear brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to QA on Mahdism or Mahdawiyyah. Um, in this series of shows, we are trying to answer some of the doubts or misconceptions concerning the uh, existence of Imam Al Mahdi, alayhi salam. May Allah hasten his reappearance and different issues concerning the topic of Mahdawiyyah. Um, in our today's show, uh, we shall ask one new question received by a questioner from respected guest speaker, Sheikh Zayd al-Salam, Islamic scholar uh, from Qom Seminary Schools. Uh, before asking the question, I'd like to welcome Sheikh to the studio. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum as wa Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, Sheikh, now we want to know about the ways to recognize and know an Imam. Uh, look uh, for a person, a duty-bound person. One of his, uh, I think, major duties is to come to this way, to this path, to rightly recognize Imam, a person who is going to lead him, to be his leader. Mm -hmm. So what are the ways to recognize that this person is the right Imam of us and uh, the, the, the knowledge of Imam in general? Please help mm -hmm. us with this question. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Well, we know that there's a difference between uh, knowing and recognizing. And I think uh, when we use the Arabic words, uh, they'll, be, they'll pop out even more for um, us as people who are interested in wanting to engage in these kind of uh, issues. You know, the word ilm is different to the word ma'rifa. When you have ilm, you have that theoretic kind of understanding that you could probably uh, believe in and you could probably not believe in. There's no um, kind of obligation for you to have uh, affirmation about uh, believing in it wholeheartedly. Whereas with the issue of ma'rifa, um, not only is it something that you need to uh, have a kind of uh, affirmation about, uh, in the sense of uh, inner kind of knowledge and also confirming it uh, on, on a belief uh, system as far as your faith is concerned. But it's also something that carries many different levels as well. You know, it's, uh, as we say, mushakkak, it's of grades, different grades. You could have uh, a level of ma'rifa, uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but not be that intense mm -hmm. as someone who is a great scholar. And that, of course, wouldn't be that intense uh, uh, in comparison to a ma'asum. And so uh, that's why we always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase us in our ma'rifa. You know, we want to... Um, increase our level of knowledge, but we also want to increase in our level of ma'rifa. And I think taking it from this angle is very important, and uh, not only from the ilm side, because yes, you can read about the imam, that's very important, oh, by the way, Imam al-Mahdi ajallallahu ta'ala faraj al-Sharif, reading about him, gaining information about him, uh, trying to do research work on understanding him uh, as a historical uh, figure, as um, one of the imams, one of the Shia imams, uh, issues to do with his uh, occultation, is issues to do with um, his reappearance. And you'll also be able to gain a lot of information about uh, what are these features and characteristics of this imam who when he does return, what's going to happen. And that's also very important to gain that knowledge of of uh, which is exactly what it is that we want to do and which is what the question is posed as what are the ways of us knowing the Imam and so uh, reading the authentic uh, hadiths reading historic accurate historical information will uh, enable us to obtain uh, satisfying knowledge about it but the other kind of angle that we also need to focus on which will also help us in this side as well, is gaining ma'rifa of the Imam. 
and uh, that level of ma'rifah can also be intensified based on our uh, recognition of the imam, based on our uh, building of a relationship with the imam, uh, based on how we are able to uh, fulfill the requirements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and contribute to uh, facilitating for the imam's reappearance. Instead of being an obstacle, I'm doing all of these righteous deeds in order for the imam uh, to, to pave way, to make it easy for the imam uh, to come back. And that's why, you know, one of the uh, requests that Imam Al Mahdi Ajallah Ta'ala Farajuhu Sharif has uh, is uh, for the Mu'mineen, for the believers, is to recite this uh, very simple but full of meaning dua. Dua Al Ma'rifa. Allahumma arrifni nafsak. Fa innaka in lam tu arrifni nafsak lam arif rasulak. Oh Allah, make me become acquainted with you. Or allow me to recognize you. Yeah. And if you don't allow me to recognize you, if I won't, ha if I won't, don't obtain that ma'rifa, I won't be able to recognize your prophets. So everything goes back to the ma'rifat Allah first. Yes. So we have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us his own ma'rifa, then the ma'rifa of his proof, Rasul on the earth, and then the ma'rifa of Absolutely. Imams. Absolutely. Thank you, Sheikh. Inshallah, we'll get back to you with the uh, rest of the answer and new perspective viewers. Uh, many thanks for staying tuned and watching us with Q&A on Mahdism. We have a short break. Inshallah, we'll get back to you soon. Welcome back, dear brothers and sisters, to Q&A on Mahdism or Mahdawiyyah and the question concerning the ways to know Imam or know about the uh, Imam or a person who is going to uh, lead us in this world. Um, and this was the question that was posed then, uh, Sheikh, the Salami Islamic speaker, was uh, helping us with the answer. Sheikh, we are still hearing about the answer. So I'd, I'd just like to come back to what we were mentioning before the um, break, and that is this dua, dua al ma'rifa. Dua al yeah. And I think that's something that all of us should not only memorize, but uh, try to uh, gain that correct understanding of dua al ma'rifa. And we're saying, oh God, allow me to recognize your prophets. And if I, mm. if I don't, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, if I don't recognize you, I won't be able to recognize your prophet. And if I don't recognize your prophet, I won't recognize your hujjah, mm -hmm. which is the third section of this uh, sequence in the dua. Right. And then it says, فَإِنَّكَ إِن لَمْ تُعَرِّفْنِي حُجَّتَكَ If I don't know who your hujjah is, who this representative of yours is on this earth, and we're talking about ma'rifah here. We're not just talking about knowing the imam by name. That's easy. Many people know the imam, even non-Muslims uh, know the imam by name. So here we're talking about something. But knowing him as deeper. was his existence by his uh, sorry knowledge, a deep knowledge of him. I exactly. So when I'm saying, فَإِنَّكَ إِنْ لَمْ تُعَرِّفْنِ حُجَّتَكَ If I don't become acquainted with or I recognize and have that ma'rifah of your hujjah, dalaltu an dini. I will fall astray from my religion. religion. And that's why when, we, when it does come to the issue of uh, knowing the imam, yes, we know that each of the prophets and each of the imams who are infallible, who are ma'sumin, who do come from a certain lineage, who will come with certain uh, characteristics. Well, most important of these characteristics is they come with a mu'ajizah, with a miracle. 
when it comes to Imam al-Mahdi ajallallahu ta'ala farajuh sharif not only will he have a combination of all these because we want to know the Imam I want to make sure that this person who is going to be mentioning that he is the Imam is he really the Imam or is he somebody else is he, mm. is he a claimant someone who is making a, a false claim of Imama and Masha Shaitan, there are many of them uh, unfortunately mm. who are doing that these days. I need to know well, um, does he have this? And that's why I'd just like to share this hadith with you, if I, please, if I you. may, from um, Imam Sadiq alayhi yes, salam, uh, where he says that in Quddama hadha al Amr, which means ahead of this affair and this is a, a part of a, a hadith that is in reference to Imam al-Mahdi uh, khamsu alamat and we know that there are uh, definite signs and there are non-definite signs alamat hatmiya wa ghair hatmiya and we had a session about this true and the the definite signs one of them is al nida the the cry uh, from the skies from the heaven which every individual will hear that will occur adjacent to the time of the Imam. So I want to know the Imam when it comes to my um, intellectual understanding of the Imam. Mm -hmm. I will need to make sure that I verified all of the other signs that are going to happen um, in uh, parallel time with the appearance of this individual who's going to be calling himself the Mahdi. Very true. And so, so that is, in, in, in addition to that, there's also the miracles that are going to be um, occurring as well. So the first is the nida or the sound that can be heard. Yes, al nida awwaluhunna, as Imam Sadiq alayhi salam says, thank you. Awwaluhunna al nida. Mm -hmm. Now, when is that going to happen? According to some ahadith, it will happen fi, uh, in, in the holy month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Now, whoever believes in this call and whoever knows and acknowledges that this is going to happen and this is uh, going to be in this particular time, parallel to these other uh, alamat or signs of the reappearance of the Imam, they're going to be safe. They will recognize the Imam. Mm -hmm. They will know the Imam, they will verify the Imam, and most importantly, they will believe in the Imam. Mm -hmm. As for someone who isn't ready, isn't prepared, doesn't have that strong groundwork, you know, they um, haven't really uh, rationally, intellectually, spiritually, morally prepared themselves for the Imam, then they're not going to know if this is the Imam, not, not the Imam. They won't be able to verify uh, this be the individual or not the individual. And so whoever believes will be safe. And unfortunately, at the same time, whoever rejects, well, there's going to be many, many issues yeah. with, that, with that person. And so it's always very important. We have the Qur'an. We have so many verses in the Holy Qur'an that speak about uh, this issue. We have authentic ahadith. But something else that is also very important when it does come to this question of what are the ways of knowing the Imam is, in addition to Qur'an and authentic sunnah, our ulama, al-ulama, as the hadith says, al-ulama warathatul anbiya, the ulama, the scholars, the genuine righteous uh, scholars are the heirs of our Anbiya alayhim salam and so therefore they carry the banner of Islam and when they acknowledge something or when they reject something or when they ask us to avoid this kind of fitna or this sedition or that dubious very uh, um, uh, individual then we need to at least uh, take heed and listen and acknowledge and respect that authority that is uh, given to us. So along with the five signs, along with the miracle, along with all of the other issues that have been mentioned as far as uh, authentic traditions is concerned, we have another support element that will give us information about the Imam, and that is 
our esteemed mm. uh, ulama. And that's also a, a very vital point that we need to uh, keep in mind here as well. Thank you. And so we know that um, there are historical accuracies in relation to the imam, and that's something good for us to work on and learn about, but there are also other things that are going to give us that conviction that we need. And that can only happen through intensifying our ma'rifa mm. and also hoping that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant us that opportunity of believing in the right uh, Imam when he does reappear. Thank you, Sheikh. I want to add uh, one Quranic evidence to the uh, to your beautiful, beautiful argumentation, and that's that uh, Prophet Isa السلام, had twelve Hawari as his mm -hmm. successors. That they actually spread the message of Isa yeah. السلام, and Musa السلام, had twelve Naqibs that Nuqaba are even mentioned in the Quran, mm -hmm. but their number were twelve. So it's natural that the last prophet had 12 imams to spread the message. But right. uh, like the previous prof I mean, prophets and all the last prophets, I think the same sequence, the same natural sequence was taken and mm. uh, it was among people. So Hawariyun, Nuqaba and Aimma were yes. the ones that uh, actually can be based on the Sunnah of Allah, Allah's Sunnah that was with the other prophets can be seen even in the last prophet. Very true. Uh, thank you very much, Sheikh, for your explanations and elaboration on the topic. And you, respected viewers, for your staying tuned with Q&A and Mahdism. Inshallah, we'll uh, tell our next session and another question to be discussed. I'll leave in Allah's protection. Join us then next week, same time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.